today. The following is a presentation of TFNN. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Every trading day, live at 10 a.m. Eastern. Call now, toll free at 877-927-6648 or internationally at 727-873-7618. The TFNN Bull Bear Trading Hour. Now, Tom and Tommy O'Brien. Welcome, folks. Appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials up 261, Nasdaq's down 87, S&P's up 9.5, gold contract down 20 bucks, trading at 19.33 an ounce. You get silver off 28 cents, $27.36 an ounce, light sweet crude, $50, one penny flat. Notes and bonds, here we go. 20, the 10 year note down 21 ticks, 137.05. Now, the 10 year is over 1%, folks, but it hasn't broken yet. The bottom line is that uh, you have a lower low that's out there that's about uh, 10 ticks lower. 30 year bond, different ball game. Down two and a half points, 169.18. That has broken out its lows. King dollar. King dollar up 121 ticks, trading 89.557. The euro is at 123. The yen is out here at 103.21, and the British pounds at 135 to 1 US dollar. Tom O'Brien, what's going on? Wednesday morning. I, we got we got so much going on this morning, man. Where do we start? We were all up early. You were up at 4.30. I was up at yep. 5.30. The den was active by 6 o'clock. <laughs> yep. The market was active all night, exactly, right? Right. Where we start, we're going to start with our man, Mr. Kevin Hinks at TD Ameritrade. Think of Swim as we do every Tuesday, Wednesday, and Thursday. And don't forget, folks, every trading day right here, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time, you want to understand the strategies inside the option market. You want to understand options. Great program, futures, 11 to 12 Eastern Standard Time. If you haven't test driven yet the Thinkorswim platform, just do it right now. You're on the site, hit the banner, bring it up. They allow you to trade with paper money. You can follow Kevin and his team every trading day. Kevin Hanks, what's going on? Good morning, Tom. Good morning, Tommy. You know, if I could sum this day up in one sentence right now, I think I would say it's a great day to be a banker. Oh, and it's boy. a great day to be a lobbyist for the tech companies. I'll tell you that the <laughs> folks, if you haven't seen the banks yet, they're all going to do ABC structures up. They blew away the top of their consolidation, and they already get monster volume. Yeah, I mean, what a, what a move, Kevin! Right? Wow! Right. If uh, if you need to understand the effect of higher interest rates and how that helps banks make money via their net interest margin, yeah. And how that's really free money for the banks. Not free, but it's just a windfall for the banks. You, you, you see that w what's going on right now in, in some of these stocks. Big moves in the banks this morning. Right. And, and what happens, and this is what Kevin's saying, which is so cool, folks, okay, is that the banks didn't have to do anything. They already have all the money. Now the spread just goes right. up. <laughs> yeah. The, the spread widens on money that they're already storing. Exactly. Pretty, for individuals. Pretty amazing. And as you said, uh, these lobbyists are going to have to basically really get uh, they, they're, they're going to be very busy because both right. the Democrats and the Republicans, I would say that, hey, they want to put a quash on, you know, a couple of these high tech companies. And right. They want to break up big tech. Yeah. They want to break up these companies. Now, the end game, you know, that's the first part. The, the, the real question is, from a trading perspective, is that bearish for big tech? If you break up Facebook into... Facebook, Instagram, WhatsApp, Messenger, into four companies. Is that bearish for Facebook? I don't. I'm not so sure. <laughs> right? right? Is Amazon? If you take out uh, AWS from Amazon, is that bearish for Amazon? There, that, that's the real question. The valuation. Yeah, and, on some of these companies. And what some will pay for the other side of it, right? And if you go back yeah. to Microsoft, folks, the bottom line is that when they did it, that they, you know, it took years, but the bottom line is that you, know, you, you had, of course, like bulls and bears on both sides of it. But the bottom line, it made all those companies worth more money in the long run. It took three or four exactly. years. Exactly. Yeah, it, it definitely did. Hey, let me ask you something, man. I know yes. <laughs> your soybean oil as, as a meal, rather, as uh, the rest of these commodities have been going to the moon, man. What do you, what do you think? I think that, you know, demand 
from China is gargantuan right now. Okay. And China keeps buying grains, and that, you know, remember, supply in the grain market varies slightly each year based on good crop, bad crop, and things like that, and weather and uh, size and plantings. But demand is something that, you know, can, can really change. And China's buying a lot of grain markets, corn and soybeans. And so that is taking down the overall um, carryouts yeah. or, you know, what's le- left over in these. Now, if you get to any type of poor weather or r- r- right now, it's, it's not, you know, it's South America okay. where everyone's looking. Remember, we harvest in October. We don't plan again until May. But the opposite is South America. So now this becomes South America's weather and crop and things like that. So once uh, October and November, you get into that type of year, it's all South, South America. But, you know, demand from China and chipping away at that carryout number yeah. that remains with, with, with beans and corn is so vital yeah. to, to, to the overall pricing. Man, it's been quite a run, man. I mean, I, my, yeah. my, my take, the reason I'm asking, is I, I always, yeah. since you've, you've, you got me onto the meal, you know, when we first started doing business five or six years ago, yeah. maybe longer. But, it, you know, once I saw, you know, copper going, then wheat going, then corn going, then oil going, then gold going, I'm saying to myself, you know what, man? This is like 2002, man. And if it is, it's going to be quite a ride, man. You know? Uh, right. It, it really right. is. It's, and it's, then, and then remember, demand moves. The, the the commodities obviously yes the biggest mover com- for commodities is weather because that affects the supply side of that because people are always going to need food but China has really stepped up their purchases of grains so that has up the demand side of the ledger as well as you know chipped away at those excess crops that yeah. we have or or what traders uh, call the carryout right you gotta love it man. And you know how about how about this? You know this, this even this Nasdaq. Look, the Nasdaq's already come back like 150 points since last night. I mean, right? It, it's it, if we've learned anything, this market can shake just about anything off, man. It's like <laughs> you know, you, you think one thing's going to happen, and you know, the bottom line is that hey, guess what? You know, market saying okay, yeah. I want higher price right now. So the the you know the question for today's trade is, does the Nasdaq weigh on the overall market? Or does the rest of the market remember the Dow is heavy into banks, so the Dow's up one percent. Right. The Russell has got a lot of regional banks. That's up two and a half percent. Yeah. Right now the Nasdaq, you know, so it looks like the rest of the markets, the the S and P up a half percent, are dragging back up the Nasdaq. People are starting to buy dips here. No doubt. And folks, it's important. You know, we always talk about looking overseas. The the UK folks is up three and a half percent. I mean, this is a major, major breakout on the UK. So you got to pay attention to it, man. I mean, pretty amazing, man. You got to love it. It could be sell fang stocks, buy everything else. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> Seriously. <laughs> right here, folks, 45 minutes from now. Kevin, you have a great one, safe one. We look forward to the show. Thanks for having me on, guys. Thank you. Thanks, Kevin. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. We have the Dow Industrials up 346. NASDAQ's down 39. S&Ps are up 19 and a half. Gold down 21 bucks, silver off 29 cents, king dollar up 81, and the 30 year off two and a half points. Come right back. If you're not currently using the Taz Profile Scanner when looking at setting up your trading opportunities, then your arsenal is short a mighty weapon. The Task Profile Scanner is a standalone oh, piece of software Thomas. that instantly filters out, over 2,500 global out? financial markets such as stocks, ETFs, commodity futures, and Forex. Headed by Steve Dahl, Taz understands that in that today's technological else. world, the use of top flight software applications and technical analysis expertise is essential to successful trading in today's market. You also gain access to the webinar that Steve Dahl and Tom O'Brien just hosted, The Best Way to Use the Taz Profile Scanner to Profit. This webinar archive is available for all subscribers immediately upon signing up. All new subscriptions also come with a 30-day money-back guarantee, so you have nothing to risk. Start your subscription by visiting the front page of TFNN.com today, and you'll find the Task Profile Scanner under the Services tab. Sign up today. 
Are you in the market for buying or selling real estate in the Bay Area, including the surrounding St. Petersburg, Tampa, and Clearwater markets? Tiger Real Estate LLC is a firm that has extensive experience in the Tampa Bay area. Al, you Whether you're looking open. to sell your current property for maximum value, or you're in the market for a second home or investment property, Tiger Realty has the experience across all areas of real estate in the Tampa Bay area to help buyers and sellers make the most informed decisions across all price levels. From the price you should be paying per square foot in certain up-and-coming areas to the type of cash flow investment properties are capable of creating, Tiger Real Estate can help you make the best decision when it comes to all areas of the market. Before you make one of the biggest decisions of your financial future, call Tiger Real Estate LA. LC today at 727-329-8322 or email us at tiger at tfnn.com. That's 727-329-8322. Call us today. Hi, folks. This is Tom O'Brien. Do you have broken or unwanted jewelry, diamonds, watches, coins, silverware, and other collectibles that you would like to turn into cash? Tiger Precious Metals and Stones will pay fair market value. We make it easy to turn your precious metals that are sitting around in your house into cash. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245, and he will walk you through our safe and secure process. Andy has been in the business buying and selling precious metals for over 15 years. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245. Many of our new listeners have heard about the Tiger's Den. The Tiger's Den is a lively community where professional traders and investors can meet, exchange ideas and information in a comfortable, moderated atmosphere. Hear all of the TFNN shows, plus see all of the charts as they happen live and have access to archives of all of those charts. You can test drive the Tiger's Den absolutely free for 30 days and greatly enrich your knowledge of these markets and how to make your money work for you. Details on the Tiger's Den are on the front page of TFNN.com. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow Industrial is up 338. You get the Nasdaq down 37. S&Ps are up 20. And we have oil, Tom, right? Yeah, we got some inventory numbers in crude coming up at 1030, I believe. Let's see. We got CL. Let me see if I get this. Oh, Whisper. That's what I pull up, right? Yeah. Yes. Okay. So here we go. Crude right at around $50. I got it at $49.88. And uh, what are they looking for in that crude inventory number coming up? Okay, so they're looking for survey numbers, uh, a drawdown of 2.7 million. Whisper number is 1.6 million. Okay. So let's see. I wonder if this is going to be one of those, as you pull up the chart, uh, events where unless it's a huge outlier, it's not going to matter because there's much bigger things in play this morning than, than the inventory for the last week in crude. Right. And it's gone up so dramatically, I guess. Right? Yes, yes, yes. I mean, it was at 47.18 um, 36 hours ago. Yeah. So let's see. I got 49.94. Yep, pretty uh, much. 49.90 I'm showing on my okay, chart right so now. So if there's a bigger drawdown, I mean, this wants to go higher. That's my take even though today's kind of dicey. So if we go on a 60, uh, but you wouldn't necessarily, it's interesting here, today, gauging this, folks, what your balance here goes, normally I'd say, okay, yeah, there's a bigger drawdown, but what has also happened is that the Saudis have pulled back a million barrels a day. <laughs> so that's what's really yeah, moved that, this thing. Do you know what I mean? Which is how that thing pops so much. Yeah. yeah, exactly. So, I don't know. Let's see. Split the difference. Is it cold? Sure. It's been cold out. Yeah, we'll split the difference. So put like uh, minus 2.1 or something. Sure. Up. Oh, hold on. Is that right? Back off a of zero there. Back off a of zero. Okay, good. There you go. Okay. We'll see where that baby shakes out. All right. Yeah, it's 42 degrees in Florida when I woke up this morning. It was early in the morning, but 42 degrees. It's going to be 70 by uh, 3 o'clock this afternoon. Then it'll be like in the 40s, I think, overnight again. Wow. So yeah. let, let's take a look at this, folks. Okay, the, the NQs. Now, if you want to see, see how a perfect, well, not a perfect, there's nothing ever like a perfect test, okay? But you're going to see overnight, I mean, when, I, when like you get up at 4.30, Tommy, I get up at 5.30, right? And I was so bummed out first that the, that the NQs were down 250. I'm saying to myself, oh, man, that stinks because I wanted to shot them, right? 
Yes. Then all of a sudden I looked at the test. I says, oh, my God, I'm going to go long. <laughs> I got that text. Uh, I know. I said, oh, boy, I mean, this morning. <laughs> let me tell you something, folks. That's unusual for me. Not, you know, I, uh, I, yeah. go, I go long and shot intraday, but normally I like to see them up and, then, and hit them. And it was like, okay, man, you know, this thing came down. I mean, the, the lows of Monday out there was at uh, 522. You got the 491. I says, oh, this is pretty good. So, um, you know, we'll see what ends up happening on the other side of this whole deal. And it wasn't just that. What it was, folks, is that the E-minis were only down nine points. And then, you know, as I just mentioned, the U.K., I mean, the U.K. was basically screaming that, okay, we're not going to stay down. I mean, yes. look at this move in the U.K., man. They're, they're, this is the people that are trading the U.K. must be like, if we think we're going crazy, the, <laughs> the U.K., think about it. They locked down until February 14th or something. Do you know what I mean? Yes. And it's like this is a monster ABC up, folks. Um, and it looks like it's going to go. I mean, this is, you know, I think it's they're up three and a half percent, man, right now. Yeah. It's just so interesting. It reminds me, all the markets remind me kind of a 2016. You know, you're the Trump win, you have the market saying, oh, man, this, this is going to be dicey, right? And then everyone kind of does the real math and you have to put money behind your rhetoric. And we find out that when reality meets rhetoric, man, uh, there's not a Democratic boogeyman. Um, and you got some moderate Democrats in the Senate that are probably going to keep things in check in terms of nothing too far left is happening. Um, and in the short term, we're going to get some more stimulus. And that seems to be the reaction across the board here. Yeah, um, more money coming in for sure. Hitting right. the markets. Yep. I mean, yeah. that's the the ADP number this morning, man. We had a decrease of 135,000 jobs in December for ADP. First dip since April, I think. Um, and they were looking for a gain of 60,000. So not the numbers you'd want right. to see. Maybe a number that might rationalize even more stimulus adding to kind of the, the, the trade going on there this morning. Because, I mean, the two senators out there that are being talked about the most, you're going to have Joe Manchin of West Virginia, yep. a super moderate Democrat, and then uh, Kristen Cinema, who I'm not as familiar with, of Arizona. Um, and, you know, I'm very familiar with Manchin, he aligned with a lot that Trump was doing, even as a Democrat in West Virginia. So you're not going to, you know, that's just trying to explain some of what I think is going on out here. That's what you're going to see play out there. Yeah, no, no doubt. And, yeah. you know, if we go over to the cannabis stocks, folks, the bottom line yeah. is that you got ABC structures on the way up, man. I mean, uh, yeah. here you go. Look at I mean, canopy growth. You need a uh, volume out here today of, uh, oh, it, uh, listen, to, listen to this. it already did it, folks. You need volume for an ABC up of 9.4 million, we're at 10 million. And this is a big ABC up, man. Uh, let me see if it's going to be weekly, too. They should be, they, yeah. because that's one area that probably um, that moderates are on board, along with many Republicans. You know, so this is an area because when Republicans control the Senate, just so one of the big things that you're going to see if, Democrats secure that last seat is just being able to control what goes up for a vote in the Senate alone exactly. is monumental on some of these accolades where you had Mitch McConnell, as as anybody will do. Right. You bring up only the legislation you want in your house. Democrats would do it, too. Um, so even though some of these things may have even passed the last Senate that was in there, then they're going to come up for a vote. Cannabis seems one that's uh, pretty, pretty simple, obviously, from the chart as well, that yeah. there's going to be some change here coming over the next two to four years, for sure. And Canopy, folks, is an ABC up to 39. And right now you're only 31. So it's a big, it was a big number. And they'll take it out in the, so on the, on the weekly, you only need 24 million. <laughs> no, 34 million. We need 34. And today's Wednesday. And we've already done 11. We've already done 23. <laughs> And that, I'm not yeah. counting all of today. We're already done 23, man. You know, it's uh, I mean, this this day could be a defining day for for cannabis, as in when when, you know, it's still on a federal um, schedule you know, one. Right. Schedule, yeah. Schedule yeah. one drug. So yeah. so this is the day that's probably going to lead to that getting changed as it should, along with, you know, the progression of the industry. I mean. They can't even use banks, a lot of them. So right. uh, a monumental difference this morning versus yesterday for those pot stocks. Yeah. And we haven't even talked about the aspect of the amount of money that states will take in. That, that's that's the sure. other side of this that, you know, it's just like, folks, if you if you go back, I remember when the lottery started, right? They were trying to get a lottery forever. You know, and it was always that, oh, you're going to, you know, have all the poor people do it, which, which, which does happen. Okay. They, you know, there's no doubt about that. Yeah. But then as soon as the states 
well, a couple states start doing it. And then the other states, of course, saw how much the states were taking in and said, hold it, man, we got to do this. You know, we don't have to do it. But the bottom line is that, guess what? You know, they're, they're looking and saying, OK, why is, you know, New Hampshire was one of the first ones. Why are they getting all the money? Massachusetts decided to go. As soon as Massachusetts went, I mean, they were making so much money. I think the rest of those states were looking and saying, how is this little state making so much money? Well, there's got a lot of gambles in Massachusetts. Folks. As, <laughs> exactly. Massachusetts has a special spot in it's a, uh, scratch ticket <laughs> heaven. Oh, my God. Uh, Seriously. <laughs> and yeah. Powerball yeah. and the, the quick picks. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's funny you mentioned, man, because I had seen just we'll throw it as we come into this break. Um, and we're going to get oil numbers right after we come back from the break. But both of them right now are huge. I don't know if you know. Mega Millions, nobody won it. And that's going to grow to like 400. 90 million on Friday. Really? And you got Powerball at 410 million today. So there's a your, there's half a billion dollars almost. Win them both for half a for win them both for a billion. Why not? Unreal. Stay there right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Hi, folks. Tom O'Brien here. If you'd like to get my daily newsletter, Market Insights, then now is a great time to sign up for a 30-day free trial. Every morning by 9.30, I send out my morning letter to subscribers with market commentary on a variety of markets, currencies, and commodities to keep investors up to date on the day's trading action. Included in Market Insights are specific buy and sell recommendations for stocks, ETFs, and even options, with stops and price targets included for every trade in my newsletter. If you'd like to try my newsletter risk-free for 30 days, then head over to the front page of TFNN and you'll find Market Insights under Trading Newsletters. I use my years of trading experience to bisect and dissect the market every morning and give my subscribers the most important information they need to know for the day ahead. I even issue afternoon updates for my subscribers whenever warranted with important market action. I'm always scouring the market for the next great trading opportunity. Sign up for your 30-day free trial to my daily newsletter, Market Insights, today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com. Wow! Go get them, folks! If you're a trader in the market looking to find the path that leads to maximizing profits while decreasing risk, then now is a great time to try out Dave White's daily trading service, The Path of Least Resistance. Through the use of options and equity trades, Dave advises his subscribers on a daily basis of the current market conditions and what possible trade setups are on the horizon. The Path of Least Resistance is published every trading morning, often with updates intraday when initiating trades or closing out positions. Dave White has advised his clients of some outstanding winning options and equity trades in recent months, and now is a great time to try it out for yourself. New subscribers to the Path of Least Resistance receive a 30-day money-back guarantee. See for yourself the types of options and equity trades that are available by signing up for the Path of Least Resistance today by visiting the front page of TFNN.com and selecting the newsletter tab. Sign up today. TFNN is excited about our new software charting program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts. In collaboration with Tom O'Brien and using his best-selling book, The Art of Timing the Trade, Your Ultimate Trading Mastery System, David White has programmed an outstanding piece of software that will complement any trader's methodology. Using this first-of-its-kind program, The Art of Timing the Trade Charts allows you to scan thousands of stocks for Fibonacci formation setups, including Gartley's, ABC's, Butterflies, and much more. The Art of Timing the Trade Charts is designed Designed to help you when scouring the markets for stocks just beginning to form the trading patterns that many investors spend days, weeks, or even months searching to find. And right now, we're offering licenses available at only $79 a month. We are so confident that you're going to love this new charting software that will even give you a 30-day unconditional money-back guarantee. Don't miss out on this incredible new piece of software. Get your copy of The Art of Timing the Trade Charts today by visiting TFNN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, this is quite a uh, crude inventories fell 8 million barrels, man. Uh, go big or go home. <laughs> <laughs> Seriously, man. That is a monster move, folks. Okay, the, the median estimate was, uh, what are they saying? Yeah, uh, 2.6 maybe or 1.6. Yeah. The whisper and the median estimate was somewhere about 1.6, 2.6. You came in at like 2.2 or something like that. Right. And, and crude did spike a bit on that. It went from about 49.90 up to 50.30 
pretty quickly. Um, and we're trading just above fifty dollars, fifty nineteen right now, basically right where we were trading at ninety minutes ago at nine in the morning. Um, but crude catching a little bit of bid. That that was enough to to affect that market even on today, man. No doubt. Let's get yeah. over and take a look at Exxon Mobil for a, a couple of the targets out here. Now this has been on a move, folks. And it looks like it's going to try to do an ABC structure on the way up. And this is pretty intense. I mean, you know, we go back three months ago, it was at uh, 20, 31 bucks. You're at 44. Your B point out here is uh, 44, 46. And it's hit it today. And it looks like it's going to have the volume. You get 8 million. We need 30 million. And the thing that's intriguing about this, watch this, is that you, you, it's still paying a 7.8% dividend, man. <laughs> So, I mean, it's some of the best trades are the hardest to make, right? Buying oil down there, yeah. Oof. Kudos so, to anybody that could pull that trigger, man. Um, but rightfully so, crude's not going anywhere, man. You know, I mean, look at that double; it pulls right back to kind of where you were on that March. Uh, it, it does. You know, low and, and and then pops and. And just so you can understand, folks, oil, this Exxon Mobil has been on a downtrend since 2014. 2014. Think about that. 2014. You're at $104. It gets down. First, it dives down to 30, gets a spike bounce to 55, and then retests $31.11. Look at that. So you're not too late. That's the bottom line because just even in a dead cat bounce, this thing can go up to 64. <laughs> You know, now I'm not talking 64 in two weeks, folks, okay? <laughs> Just so you know. <laughs> um, but that's quite a move, man. That's, you know, it, it's amazing that they, they held their dividend, too. I mean, that's, you know, and, and Chevron, CVX is the setup the same way. I was looking at this yesterday. Uh, you know, it's in, I was just going to add, so of a 45-gallon um, barrel yes. uh, of oil, you get like 20 gallons of gas, I think. You get a lot other out of right. it. But, but long story short, even just the gas, let alone that there's more. There's ultra-low sulfur, there's the diesel, right, and then you get the jet fuel. Um, but even just 20 gallons of gas, man, you got down to a level of $30 a barrel almost. Uh, um, you're talking about $1.50 for a gallon. And I like to in my head, at any time a gallon of gas starts costing less than a gallon of water I that's know. like inside the 7-Eleven right. that, that you're going to get gas for, Yeah, I say, man, you know, in the long run, that that can't be that like, right. you know, we're charging for water inside that most Americans, if not all, can just turn on their faucet for it and have drinking water and yet people are paying more for water in a bottle at 7-eleven than they are paying for gas which has a million uses still so something to keep in mind because anytime it gets near there man my head kind of goes berserk and and then crude has bounced historically from those 20 to 30 dollar levels no doubt and how about folks okay this is this is pretty wild i mean the, you, you talk about institutions that you think should be put together you know the new york stock exchange turned around and reversed again that now they're going to delist the telecoms again in china <laughs> overnight are they yeah because <laughs> when i thought you said that i said i was thinking in my head that's yesterday's move man yeah, they, they, they reversed they, again they did it again they reversed again now it's Who not got hit, on the it's phone? not it's not hitting them this morning did Mnuchin uh, get him on the phone? Yeah, seriously, man. Yeah. He tried Let me, to. I'll bring them up in Hong Kong right now. So watch this. This is pretty cool, folks. 728 HK. Hong Kong just has all numbers. Yeah, there it is right there. So that's up eight cents. That's uh, China Telecom. Then 762, I think, is, is uh, Unicom. Yeah, there it is. Right there. 762. <laughs> that's up 17 cents. So it's just not hitting them. And then China Mobile is 921. 920, yeah. Oh, I'll hold it. No. 921. I thought it was 921. Oh, that's right. 941. One second. 941. There it is. Okay. And that's up 55 cents. <laughs> okay. Yeah. So it's like, okay, fool me once. Yeah, sure. I go down. Fool me twice. No, I'm not going to go down anymore. Cool. You know, I'm, yeah. I'm hanging tight. You know, whatever is happening. Um, you know, hey, how about some of uh, we got a couple questions in the YouTube Tigers Den talking about some of the gaming stocks today, which are up big as well. DraftKings up six point two percent, Pen Gaming up six point five percent. Both of these stocks coming off big runs already this year. Um, is talking about you know Pen National. Now that's the one for Barstool. P E N N. Okay. Um, 
looking for a buy in that. And uh, boy, talk about a rocket ship, man! This stock. It is. Um, you know, I. I don't know where I. Yeah, I would. So, I would wait on this how do you, thing. How do you, I, I, how do you buy? How do you pinpoint a buy? It's a great question, man. You're not the only one, right? right. That's a million dollar question. Where you buy a stock that just went from three dollars to ninety three? Right. My, my take Oof, would be around I mean, seventy six. You know, it depends on depends yeah. on the trade. As right. in, you know, are you you looking long term or short term? If you're looking super long term, this is an exploding industry, man. You know, oh, yeah. um, there's nothing wrong with getting a little action right now. You're not even at all time highs because. You may see an acceleration. Same thing with the cannabis stocks. You know, oh, that's yeah. why we're talking about cannabis and saying, listen, if you want to be in these equities, maybe maybe get a little bit of a position before you might see a pop if yeah. the, uh, and, the and election I, comes in. What you had, though, this is, what, is that in the cannabis stocks, you had them at lows, where the, the gambling stocks are at highs. So, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a lot yep. easier to buy those lows. Um, I, I mean, the, the way this market is setting up right now, my, my take is that we, you know, you're going to get a much larger stimulus bill in, uh, more than likely, they're going to, I suspect the feds will organize the distribution of vaccines a lot better for the states. There's going to there's gonna be real money that gets pushed into this vaccination now, right, you know, right across the, the country, not just into, you know, the WAP speed deal. And maybe that's what we're looking at, you know, because the bottom line is that uh, this market's looking at something, man. <laughs> You know, it's looking at higher prices, man. That's it. It's looking at higher <laughs> prices, and this the the Russell. This looks like it's going to be another yeah. ABC structure up on the Russell. You know, and we need. You said a great point about the re the regional banks, which I hadn't considered, but doing big things in there, I'm sure. Yeah. Yeah, we need. Let's see. You need 21, 27 million today to do an ABC up in the IWM, and you got ten, so it's going to do it, and that would be two oh one. 180, so you get 20 bucks. That'd bring you 210. You're 202. So, and what's interesting is we're at some critical levels here on a couple of them. You get the Dow right where we were to start off the year um, before kind of cascading from yeah. 30,698. So literally sitting right at that level. As you mentioned, the Russell. We're now back up to where we were just at 7 a.m. exactly um, on that price level. So interesting. You get the Russell, the Dow, critical levels. And the S&P still got a solid 25 points to get back to where we were to start off this year at 37.73. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I are coming right back. Dow just nailed 400 up. Uh, uh, NASDAQ just went positive by five points. S&P's uh, up 30. Tommy and I are coming right back. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. Are you looking to buy or sell gold, silver, platinum, coins, or bullion? We can help. At Tiger Precious Metals and Stones, we specialize in the buying and selling of gold, silver, as well as collectible U.S. and foreign coins. We not only buy our unwanted or broken jewelry, but you can trade that in for gold and silver coins too. Call Andy now at 727-329-8245 for a quote over the phone and to lock in the current market price. Call us now at 727-329-8245. TFNN has launched our brand new website. You can still visit us at the same TFNN.com URL, but when you do, you'll see a new and improved homepage with a much simpler navigation, whether you're watching Tiger TV live in high definition or just accessing your newsletter subscriptions. We even have new pricing in six months and yearly options. Check out the new TFNN.com now and experience all the upgrades. TFNN.com, educating investors. If you haven't checked out the newsletters page of TFNN.com, what are you waiting for? All of the TFNN newsletters are informative, up-to-date, affordable, and a must-have for every trader looking to gain a competitive informational edge in today's markets. TFNN newsletters cover every aspect of the markets to offer you the very latest in market news. Plus, new subscribers get to test drive our newsletters risk-free for 30 days. From all aspects of the markets, including stocks, bonds, metals, commodities, and tech, there's a newsletter to fit your needs exclusively from TFNN. Stay informed each day you trade and get that competitive edge that will help you stay ahead of the game. Visit our newsletters page by going to TFNN.com and click the newsletters button near the top of the page. 
TFNN.com. Educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today. An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the Direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about Direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact Direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor for Side Fund Services, LLC. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV for the latest market information. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow. Dow's up 410. Nasdaq's up 10. S&P's are up 32. Let's go over to our man, Mr. Teddy Cake Status. We do each and every Wednesday at 40 past the hour. You can reach Teddy, folks, every trading day at forex-trading-unlock.com. That website is forex-trading-unlock.com. Happy New Year, brother. Happy New Year, guys. We got some fireworks. <laughs> yeah, we do. We do. We're starting the year off with a bang, huh? No doubt, man. No doubt. Lots yeah, of movements. Yeah, dollar's getting hit a little, a little bit hard today. Yeah, you get a bounce in the dollar. It was down uh, about 100 ticks. We're up 188 right now, 89,622. Uh, yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah, I think the yen is the one that's kind of interesting today to watch yeah. to see how the dollar's actually getting a nice little recoil on that one. Yeah. The other ones, they're just grinding, and I think a lot of it has to do with the CRB. You have everything's exploding. Oil's railing, gold's railing, silver's railing, all the grains are Beans. railing, meats are know. railing. I know. It's, uh, I think that's really what you have going on here. You know, I mean, where else are you going to put your dollars? Not into not in the dollars right now. All right. Yeah, this move so. in the yen's big, huh? That, yeah, it's had a rejection this morning. Interesting. Yeah. It did. Yeah. That's the only one that had that's going the other way, which. That's kind of, you know, usually when you have a dollar move and it's not like just a completely like a dollar collapse or a dollar rally, yes. you have a you have divergence with the yen. Usually the yen goes the other way. OK, so I think I think that's really what you're seeing today is like we're you know, we're pretty much back to free flowing currencies right now. Obviously, the dollar isn't a free fall, um, but I think that has a lot to do with other markets more than I don't think the dollar really is the story. I think it's just the end result of what's happening. To right. Which you've been saying. Right. There's no doubt. And so yeah. it's going to be intriguing watching it. And, you know, the bottom line is that it, if the other currencies keep going higher, I mean, well, you know, what's intriguing here. I haven't looked at this for a while. What about the Brazilian real? Because what happens, mm -hmm. folks, is that when these commodities take off, these commodity currencies, meaning the real and the Australia, right, should get some juice behind them. Right. Right. Absolutely. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. So and I, and I think you're going to continue to see that as we move into the new year, you know, like <clears throat> it's going to be this is going to be a commodity driven market in 2021. Yeah, no. we had we had stability for the last year and a half, especially in the wake of the coronavirus. Yeah, not so much this year, I don't think. Right now, you can see so oh, that 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 reel has a long way to go. That's interesting. That's been a consolidation <clears throat> since going back to. I guess the beginning of the year. I got it on a weekly. Yeah. And and you're hitting a good market too because you know especially with the uh, the whole uh, La Nina year and everything, okay. you're gonna see you're gonna see a lot of problems with coffee production around the world and a lot of other uh, you know agricultural products around the world. So as you have these other currencies strengthening against us, I mean it's going to it's we're gonna have food inflation in this country no matter what. I mean it's impossible not to with the way the current pricing is going. So if this trend stays where it's at you know and we it's let alone continues to go higher into the summer <clears throat> you're going to see it it's going to be reflective everywhere so 
And as we're talking, they, folks, gold was down twenty dollars. As uh, Tommy, uh, uh, Teddy, and I are talking, now it's down forty bucks. <laughs> they just whacked <laughs> it. I mean, big time. Mm -hmm. Well, I think you, that might be because the yen is, is is not doing so good against the dollar today. So oh, I think that's sure. just it's just amazing. I think that's really yeah. what it is. Oh no, I agree. Itself. It's yeah. that I remember in two thousand two when I didn't never understood the yen correlation, man. I woke mm -hmm. up one day and, you know, gold's to the moon. And then, mm -hmm. you know, I see I, there's still the correlation didn't get me. But then, you know, five or six weeks later, woke up and the gold's, you know, and hell on a handbag. And that's when it was sure. like, oh, this yen means something. <laughs> absolutely. Yeah. Absolutely. So and it's kind of interesting. You know, you look at the explosion that we've seen in a lot of markets over the past couple of weeks. We've had monster rallies in, in trends in markets where we have had no news. None. Right. I mean, it's and, and it, it really kind of scares me when you have over the holidays where typically you have thin volumes where we had fairly thin volumes, but then we had some explosive days, you know. So there was definitely action going on, and it's very rare. You just don't normally see that kind of skew, you know, over the holidays. And, and that's really making me wonder how, you know, for like I said, for 2021, I think it's going to be a very CRB indicative uh, market. You know, we have stable weather um, right now, you know, especially like in the Midwest, we're having a very mild winter, you know, um, but weather can change. You know, if we have a very rainy spring and planting becomes a rough issue, you know, last yeah. year we had a good planting. You know, we, two years ago was when we had the issue with planting in this country. OK, last last year was really good. If we start to come into that, and especially like you got to realize in 14 days, we have new lockdown measures coming across the country. If the food produ produ producers and stuff like that don't get some leniency and they go harsher on them than they did, you know, eight months ago, that's going to hit our supply chains for food. Interesting. You know, yeah. So and that's really going to become a problem as you come online, because farmers are still going to be working, but they're not going to be able to do their work outside of where they're at. That's not good. You know, it's going to have an issue with remember how last spring they had to slaughter all that cattle that never made it to, to market. Yes. You know, we, we can't have that go on again because you're forcing inflation then, you know. So and I, I think that's going to be a very big issue and that's going to crush the dollar, too. You know, I yeah. mean, it's just it doesn't bode well for it. I think you're going to I mean, look at the corn, the wheat and the soybeans. I mean. It's right after the first of the year, and they're they're banging six year highs. Sure, and That's, copper. Look at copper. I mean, yeah. the copper stocks. You get the southern copper's at all time highs. FCX mm -hmm. just won't stop. I mean. You know, and that's even so. What Freeport McMurray is not stopping. It's up a buck fifty, folks, mm -hmm. and that's with gold down forty five bucks. <laughs> it's like you yeah. know, it's like, right? Yeah, yeah. It's it's going to be very interesting to see how things pan out because think about this too: is with the dollar as suppressed as it is, even though we've had manufacturing explode in this country over the past few years. Where's our buying potential going to go? I mean, right now we're looking at that if the dollar just stays where it is. Just by the, the, the inflation from, you know, goods and things like that coming, it's going to be a very expensive year in America. The dollar keeps on falling. We buy a lot of goods from around the world, oh, you sure. know, and, especially, and that's going to be a big deal. Right. You know, so I, I don't think that, you know, so, you know, it's a falling dollar can be good and it can also be bad. You know, it's it's good for our imports, you know, for our exports and things like that. Sure. Um, but it certainly isn't good when it bodes well for, or bodes for our imports. You know, and remember that because of last year, we're in a lag on a lot of things. I mean, you can't you still can't buy a freezer. You know, oh. you go buy a freezer. It's going to be eight months before it gets delivered. That's right. You know, and, and that's so, any appliance, folks. OK, if you're getting, yeah. you know, yeah, uh, and it's a big it's a big number, man. And yeah, I mean, you know, we'll see what happens. And that's the tafts too. They put the tafts on it. Mm -hmm. Factory slow down, big companies slow down. It's like they haven't caught up yet. So pretty intense. Right. right. Yeah. Right. So what happens to the um, durable good numbers and stuff like that? Yeah. Where is that going to be in six months from now? You know, so and I think that this is stuff that will really start to hit the market. I mean, think about this. You look at the new home development and stuff like that. Right. What, how are you going to complete a, a home when your kitchen, you want all stainless steel appliances, but you can only get two of them out of four? That, no, listen, and you have to wait eight months for the other two. Right. Now, you you got to order early. I, I'm in that business. I know, yeah. I know what you're saying, man. Right. It, so. it, 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 there's no doubt. you got to love it. Well, listen, man, I love kicking off the new year with you. Tommy and I love this. Uh, we appreciate all your education. 
get us up to speed because we're going to have to be, I think we're really going to have to be up to speed this year on these yeah. currencies, man. I mean, I yeah, think we definitely. can see the euro at 140 again. Yeah, I no doubt. Have a great one, Teddy. Have a safe one. You too, guys. Happy New Thanks, Year. Thanks, Teddy. Stay right there, folks. Tommy and I come right back. Back in the day, I joined Hotel California in 2006, and like many of you, was drawn in by, as well as, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. You see, I believe that everything in life happens for us, not to us, and Tom ignited the fire within me to want to learn how to master the markets. So how did I go from knowing nothing about technical analysis to becoming the number one market timer for the S&P 500 in 2018 and the number two market timer in 2019? Simply put, I hired coaches with a proven track record, which led me to a whole new set of tools that I created to interpret the message of buyers and sellers. I would love the opportunity to teach you this award-winning set of tools and to help you improve your market timing. You can test drive my newsletter service, Mastering Probabilities, for the next 30 days with no risk to you. Plus, you'll gain access to archive workshops that'll take you step-by-step -step through my system. Sign up today by going to the homepage of TFNN.com and selecting Mastering Probability in the newsletter tab. Hi folks, this is Tom O'Brien. The printing presses are working 24 hours a day, seven days a week. The US deficit has risen 200% in one year with no end in sight. The markets are looking for an additional stimulus bill to get us through this once in a generation pandemic. There is no free lunch, folks. The more stimulus dollars put into the marketplace, the less your dollar's worth each and every day. This is the time to protect yourself with a portion of your portfolio in the metal market. The Gold Report comes out each Monday morning. I bisect and dissect the dollar. Silver, gold, the XAU, and the HUI. The Gold Report is a long-term hedge against the dilution of your buying power. The U.S. has put more than $6 trillion into the marketplace in the last six months, with more expected in the next few months. The market did and does need the stimulus, but it will have long-term implications on our buying power. The Gold Report comes with a 30-day money-back guarantee. Go to TFNN.com and order the Gold Report now. Protect your buying power. Order the Gold Report now. With markets trading with extreme volatility and peaks and troughs everywhere, regardless of what you're looking at in the markets, this is a great time to see the type of analysis Basil Chapman delivers for his subscribers every market day with the opening call newsletter. Basil has been analyzing markets, providing his take for subscribers to his trading services since 1984. Every morning, Basil publishes an update for his subscribers, along with weekend and evening updates when warranted. The opening call provides traders a daily market overview with regard to the direction of the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, along with specific recommendations, including stops and targets. You also gain instant access to Basil's subscriber webinar archive from earlier this year, a dark cloud cover, and essential market analysis. Ride the Chapman wave today by signing up for the opening call newsletter on the front page of TFNN.com under the newsletter tab. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Sign up today. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Welcome back, folks. Uh, Dow, Dow Industrials right now up 468, and Nasdaq's up 26. S&Ps are up 40. And uh, we got a bank, that People's Bank, uh, uh, with the question, okay, PBCT, PBCT. Uh, yes, this is an ABC structure up. Uh, it's blowing away its B points. Got the volume. You only need a volume of 4.4 .4, 4 .4 million to get 2 million right now. So yeah, that this equity uh, is on its way to 16 bucks, and right now you're at 1407. It's almost all the banks are doing ABC structures up. Look at Citigroup, blowing away, up four bucks. J.P. Morgan, you know, I mean, this this oh, real yeah. action here, man. <laughs> yeah, same setup. Uh, BAC, let's see. Oh yeah. Oh, look at that! Wow, big yep. numbers, man. You know, yeah. this is almost a replay of. Uh, the, when Trump won, I mean, you know that it is. It, 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 yeah. it totally is. Yeah, pretty well. I would agree. And you know, it's it's it, the rhetoric just steps aside, man. Reality takes hold, and mm -hmm. say, listen, <laughs> this is not some some end of the world. Uh, and the market reacts. Yeah. Yeah, no doubt. Look, look at this move on gold. And hey, listen, folks. You know, the bottom line is that uh, <laughs> you know we have the uh, the. Uh, 
tag of precious metals. Bottom line, you know, if you're looking to buy dips, <laughs> keep that in mind. <laughs> because guess what? Gold's $47 cheaper today. Uh, if you loved gold at 1950, you'll love it at 1906, right? Exactly. Yeah. <laughs> there we go. I mean, listen, you know, I... I you know, yeah, it's a pullback, but guess what? The, these stocks aren't even pulling back. So it's like, you know what? This is, you know, you know, we, we kind of last, well, last month we went from 1767 up there. Yeah. Yeah, you right. Know. I mean, can't go up forever. Taking at least a big breather today, at least. But no, yeah. And they love hitting it, man. There's no doubt. Oh, yeah. Stay right there, folks. Think of Swim coming up next. Then I'm man, Mr. Basil Chapman, Steve Rhodes, Dave White. I'll be back this afternoon. Thanks, pal. Thanks, man. Ooh. Look at them, folks.